In this video, we're going to break down how the distributed property works with division. This is the kind of question you might see on your state test. We have 602 divided by 14. And what they want to know is which problem here would solve 602 divided by 14. Well, first, let's break down what these problems are looking like. So our problem is 602 divided by 14. In A, we have 560 divided by 14. And then 560 divided by 14 again. And we're adding those together. And B, we have 560 divided by 14. And then 42 divided by 14. And we're subtracting those. And C, we have 560 divided by 14. 42 divided by 14. And we're adding those together. And then finally in D, we have 560 plus 14. And 42 plus 14. And we're dividing these. So we know which letter here would give us the distributed property for 602 divided by 14. Well, let's go ahead and erase all that. And let's just solve the problem using partial quotients. So I know there's many different ways to solve a problem using partial quotients, but I'm going to choose a very specific method. We have 602 divided by 14. Well, let's find a big friendly chunk right away. And looking at my answer choices, I'm thinking maybe 560 is a chunk. And it is. If I take 14 and I multiply 14 times uh, what would it be? 14 times 40. 14 times 40 equals 560. Subtract. I would get 42 left over. If you look at your problems, 42 is a number that appears often as well. Then hmm, what is 42 divided by 14? Well, if I would take 3 times 14, I would get exactly 42. Subtract that, I get 0 left over. And now my question is, what do I do with my partial quotients off to the side. What do I do with that 40? What do I do with that 3? Yes, I need to add those together. So therefore your answer is 43. So which problem over here on the left, A, B, C, or D, is using 560 divided by 14, and then 42 divided by 14, and then you add those partial quotients together? Well, if you look carefully, B has the right setup, but we are subtracting these, so that's not right. C also has the correct setup, and this time we're adding, so yes, that could be right. On D, we have 560 plus 14. We don't want to add those. We want to divide those, so that's not right. And on A, we have 560 divided by 14, and then 560 divided by 14 again. That is also not right. So the answer has to be C. If you look carefully at these, 560 plus 42 equals 602. This is a division problem we're doing, so we need to divide inside the parentheses. And then the 14 stays the same because you have to divide both parts by 14, and you always add in between parentheses. Thank you for watching my video on distributed property with division.